Hello, this is Daniel Gulo, the Joseph S. McAuliffe Curator of the Malta Study Center and current Program Manager for VHIMO 3.0, a project funded by the National Endowment for the Humanities. This is a brief video to talk about one of two major updates we've done to VHIMO Reading Room in the month of May 2018, uh, and a few minor uh, changes which will improve the user experience. So. On behalf of Father Columbus Stewart, the Executive Director of the Hill Museum and Manuscript Library, John Meyerhoff, our Systems Librarian, and Brian Lohr and Chad Levine of Solutions Design Group, let me introduce you to the most up-to-date version of the Mirador Viewer in Reading Room. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Reading Room, and you can see you can click that by either going to the menu or from the direct link on the front, which I just did. And um, now here I'm in the reading room, and I've signed in so I can view images. And I'm going to take a look at um, Armenian manuscripts from Aleppo um, because I really, really find some of these manuscripts absolutely beautiful. And they are a good example of how we can use the Mirador viewer. Um, so I found this wonderfully illuminated manuscript here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on View Images. And you can note here, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through this to find this beautiful uh, miniature um, and headpiece in a wonderful 16th, 17th century gospel book from the Armenian Church Diocese of Aleppo. So I'm going to go ahead and create a little bit of space of me. And you can actually see this is now our new Mirador uh, viewer and I'm going to create some space by closing the description page ah and um, as you can see here uh, I have um, created a nice view of our manuscript I'm going to move the thumbnails out of the way and show you um, how our new image manipulation works so up here on the left uh, you'll notice that you now have the ability to control the brightness to control the contrast the ability to control saturation, and you can revert back to the normal image. If you want, you can toggle it into grayscale, back and forth, or then invert those colors if you want. You can also flip the image and then return it to reset the image and then close that if you want to move that away. We still have the basic buttons for um, plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out. You can also maneuver the image around and home it in. We still have our rotation buttons and your three views, the image view, the book view, and the gallery view to see the manuscript. Up here on the upper right you still have the ability to go to full page so you can go out and there you can see the big beautiful manuscript there. And then um, we can go back to our description page uh, and see our information here. So that's our new Mirador viewer. It does have a few other things which are important to it that involve the IIIF manifest that I'll discuss in the next video. Um, but I did want to show you how powerful this can be, um, in particular when we take a look at black and white microfilms. So I'm going to search something from the EMML project and um, some scanned microfilm images only. And so you can see these uh, scanned microfilms from Ethiopia. If you go into these, create yourself a little space, and take a look at these images, um, the black and white microfilm really takes advantage of this Mirador viewer. So if you can zoom in nice like this, uh, you can now uh, come in and, in, you know, you don't have to toggle the grayscale because it already is, but you can invert those colors, and that really allows you to try to uh, verify text as you see it um, as you need it to be verified. So that's really nice um, part, a way of working with the um, black and white microphone. So two other uh, basic changes uh, that you will notice when you're using Reading Room. Uh, the first one, of course, is we've moved the Back to Results button up here at the top. Uh, one of the reasons why we did that was uh, it kept disappearing when you would move the, uh, the records. So if you had a long record in the um, the database, oops, um, let's see, and digital images. Um, so if you had a long record in the database with the description, um, the back to results button used to be located here um, in the upper right. Um, 
which meant every if you scroll down you would lose it but by putting it up here in the white bar you're not going to lose your back to results button anymore you can just click back when you need to to do that um, the second thing uh, you'll notice um, is we have uh, created our associated names with hot links so that they um, which is really important for works for attributed authors um, so if I search Augustine of Hippo in Spain and you'll see him here as an associated name um, because he's associated with the rule of St. Augustine. If I click on that, uh, it'll go ahead and find all of my works associated in Reading Room associated with Augustine of Hippo. So the same type of author, um, author hotlink now also works for associated name. Thank you.